Can I help you? Are you Orville Chapman? You teach writing at this university, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Do I know you from somewhere? Actually, yes. Yes, you do. You may have seen me working at Owl's Discount Photo Development. Oh, yeah. What are you doing here? <laughs> Mr. Chapman, I'm going to make some demands and you are going to meet them. <laughs> what are you talking about? Mr. Chapman, I make copies of all photos developed in store. Even the ones that you had made in June 2018. That's right, Mr. Chapman. I have all 287 photos of you and your own knees painted green. It's, it's not a sex thing. I, I swear. Hardly the point. You don't want people knowing about it. And no one ever will. As long as you do what I say. No. I've been denying myself for too long. I'm not afraid. <laughs> I don't care if people know. I don't care what you show them. <laughs> I also have the ones that you had made in spring 2015. What are your demands? Orville, this is so strange. Are you sure you've thought this over? Yes. I believe that John Devon's not only a better teacher and, and writer than I, but a better person. Cry to think what life would be like had I not met him. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Orville. I really appreciate those kind words. Now, I really should be on your way now, shouldn't you? Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay, well, John, now that you're all settled in, I'd better get back to my office. Uh, one moment, please, Vice-Chancellor. I, um, I'm kind of bad when it comes to remembering names. Do you happen to have a staff list I can get my hands on? Oh, yeah, there's one on the wall, just down the hall. God, that is, that is good to hear. Hello everyone, my name is John Devins and I'll be your new lecturer for scriptwriting class. You can call me John. What happened to Mr. Chapman? He, um, he wanted to see the world. But hey, who needs the world when you got scripts? Scripts are at the core of your being and they're in your heart. Now students, I want you all to write the best possible scripts you can, okay? No limits, just go with what your heart tells you. Are you going to teach us about structure? Structure? <laughs> you invited this robot. Yeah, and no, I forget about structure. Just do what feels right, okay? And unfortunately, if you don't get them into me by next week, you might fail. Sorry guys, it's the auditors. If it was up to me, <laughs> I'd give you more time. But. Next week, no extensions. Yeah, hello, is this the Writers Guild? Good, good. Look, I heard you have a competition coming up. Great. My colleagues and I would like to make some submissions. Whoa, 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 Vice-Chancellor, slow down. What are you talking about? It's the Writers Guild. They're forcing everyone in the art department to leave town. Oh no! They're saying that we submitted scripts to one of their contests, but, but they were so terrible that we don't deserve to teach here. Oh, like unbelievably bad, as if a university student wrote it. How strange. John, I don't even remember submitting a script. But hey, I, I... what's up with your position as Vice-Chancellor? I mean, as I am the only one left, I guess I get the position, right? Oh. Douglas, the sound teacher, is vice-chancellor now. Sorry, Douglas? Yeah. Apparently his script was the work of a genius. The guild pulled some strings and gave him my job. 
Douglas. What was the name of that script again? Was there a reason you called me in here today, sir? Yeah. Your script. It was no good. I'm gonna need you to write me another one, like the first, but even better. No. Hmm? I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, I thought my first script was pretty good, so I submitted it to the Writers Guild's latest competition. But it's strange. They rejected it. Apparently, the same script had already been submitted under a different name. The name was the same as my sound recording teacher. Turns out, a lot of teachers submitted scripts, including you. And now, you're the only one of our teachers who didn't get run out of town by the Writers Guild. What are the chances of you believing this is all just one big coincidence? Slim. Well then, Reggie. I'm going to have to call my very good friend, Vice Chancellor Douglas, and have you expelled. And I'll call the Guild. Tell them what you did, and they'll beat you to death. Mr. Devons. I'm going to make some demands, and you are going to meet them. 